Over time, I started to call them Southwestern memory jars because everybody that goes hiking or exploring around the West, even if they're coming up from New York City or just spending some time in Tucson or whatever, they end up picking up little things and sticking them in their pocket and whatnot. And then you get home and you go, what do you do with them? Well, you just put them in your Southwestern memory yeah. jar. And over the years, you can have all these memories stored at home in a little memory jar. So that's kind of a nutshell of the art. Like I said, I started at the Santa Monica City College wow. uh, a long time ago. Um, then I went from there into studying architecture and landscape architecture. And in my particular career, um, I expanded from little tiny things to where I designed, um, obviously not the landscape, but I designed the Kaibab National Forest facilities, Beautiful. the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument That's facilities. Incredible. Hey, Bryce, you've got like the most fascinating life. It's so awesome. <laughs> and the cutest puppy ever. So oh, I love true, it. True. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. What was uh, Santa Monica like? Santa Monica was, uh, when I was there, it was in 1969, 1970. You know, uh, I met there in 1979. And it was very laid back. Uh, at that time, I had really long hair. Uh, and I had a red beard <laughs> and, you know, smoked a lot of pot. Yeah. Yeah. Took a lot of yeah. LSD. Yeah. Did a lot, did a lot of creative yeah. you know, artwork along those lines and whatnot. And then I moved from there up to Santa, Santa Monica. I started moving up the coast and I went to Santa Monica City College and I got a, a biology degree. And my dream was I wanted to take art and I wanted to take uh, nature and I wanted to take, you know, architecture as, as far as communities for people and the mm -hmm. goal was to put people in the environment as part of the environment not taking advantage of the environment that's beautiful so, that's something that the japanese do like you have this like the, the work with yeah. the community you know, one of the early things that i discovered as an artist speaking of japan is mm -hmm. you know when they do a, a, a zen garden or whatever they talk about putting ten thousand square miles into one acre. Yeah. And they capture everything in all the whole aspects yeah. of the Yeah, you get the all four up on it, like you get the whole environment. Absolutely, yeah. you know. Cool. So I moved from there, and while I was in Santa, actually, interestingly enough, I was doing a little bit of artwork, mostly jewelry at the time, um, in Santa Barbara, and I went to a counselor at school, and <clears throat> told her what my goals were, and she said, well, you sounds like a landscape architect. I said, what's that? Awesome. She says, well, that's where you work with people and architecture. That's and awesome. Landscape. Yeah, yeah. So, well, where's that? And so I, I, she said, well, just up the road in San Luis Obispo is, is, you know, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. So I drove up there, met the dean of the school and whatnot, told him that I, what I was into, and he said, well, I want to see your portfolio. And I okay. said, what's, what's that? Yeah, totally. Yeah. And so then what did you do? Yeah. yeah. You have a book, right? I didn't, I didn't have a portfolio, sure. yeah. but I told him, you know, well, my interest is using native landscaping, and at that time, Cal Poly did not use native landscaping. They, they did ornamental horticulture, which is, you know, oh, it's yeah. nice and yeah. whatnot. Um, so I made a deal with him, and he said, he said if I let you in, um, I want you to take the native plant classes, and after you've taken them, you won't get credit for them, but after you've taken them, then I can use them as logic, you know, to, to the higher-ups and put it into the curriculum. Oh, that's So I got in. Did you get paid while doing this, or were you still having to pay for it? No, I was still having to pay for it. Okay. Yeah, in fact, I was actually like, do doing landscape favor. architecture <laughs> while I was going to school, but yeah. because I wasn't licensed or anything, I called myself a landscaper housewife. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was kind of fun. So the guy's name was John Gill, and he got, you know, got me into the school, and, and the first day of class, I'm looking around, everybody's got portfolios. They've sure. got all the drawings of things that they've done and whatnot, you know, and, and uh, they asked me, you know, well, where's your portfolio? I said, I don't have, well, how did you get in? I said, uh, I don't know. I'm friends with the just, dean. I'm just, working for the dean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's when I found out <laughs> yeah. there were 3,000 applicants that year to go to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, and they only admitted 30. Wow. <laughs> so I figured, well, I guess this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. yeah. 